how to restore peace in the northwest and southwest uh, regions of Cameroon. Can political parties play a vital role in restoring peace, Madam? Um, thank you once more for, for, for that. When we, the Anglophone crisis is not uh, something that we, 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 we can joke with. You see, when you gave me the topics for this debate, uh, and then I saw that the Anglophone crisis was included, I decided to dress in black. The dressing in black was because of the topic that we are going to talk about today. So anything that uh, warrants me to talk about the Anglophone crisis, I know the crisis is not something we joke about. It is not a play something now if you look at the coming back to your question if you look at the nature of the crisis the anglophone crisis is about an entire people it is about a people it is not about a segmented few you see it is an entity for the crisis to be to to, to stop if i may, may, may propose of course political parties to me don't have anything to do with the anglophone crisis they don't have the capability the capacity because it needs some intentional internal conscientization and then sensitization of a, of a people now people need to come together it is that there, there should be a kind of unity of uh, of uh, uh, thoughts political parties have over the years segmented people than regrouping them now we need people to be regrouped in order for this anglophone uh, crisis to come to an end mm. now if we talk of um, political parties what do they do everybody have their own interest to defend they have their own interest they have their own vision that is for the party and not for the general public because if you are in the SDF, for example, the SDF people have their own vision. The PAP people have their own vision. The CPDM, the uh, uh, like, MRC, like, like, like the all other people, yes, they, like have, the of the they have their have... own vision. Okay. <laughs> so if you say that a polit political parties can come to solve the Anglophone crisis, the only way that the political parties can involve is to lay down all their differences, all their different... Uh, 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 their, their different visions for example their personal affiliations mm. and unite for in one voice and it's not possible it is very possible for them to unite but if you say it is as political parties like i come to say i am a, 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 a pap for example i'm sdf now i want to people should unite behind a, a, a sdf yeah, yeah. To, to solve the problem it cannot mm. go that way it is okay. way above each any political affiliation thank you madam yes the crisis from the perspective of a woman you people have gotten the information loud and clear uh mommy and papa the ladies and gentlemen i think say this will be necessary for bring some of these interviews them some of these shows them for now we will have to watch out so we we'll know exactly how people they think and they feel for outside day that we know we solve the problem. That we know we solve it. The reason why we know we solve it because a big party. Yes, I say a big party. You know we solve this problem. There's no tangible solution they can bring to this problem. The only thing that we bring an authority, they want to silence the people there. And when you know we silence people, their voice. They will use all kind of gymnastic, like they say bilingualism commission. Uh, uh, you know, DDR, uh, uh, reconstruction, artificial and cosmetic solutions. At the end of the day, the problem stays. At the end of the day, the problem stays because it is the life of a people, the life and destiny of a people that was stolen on the 1st of October 1961. The problem in Southern Cameroon has nothing to do with uh, so-called bilingualism or what. It is not that type of problem. It has no problem to do with construction or whatever. It has nothing to do with development of the territory or, you know, giving infrastructure. It has nothing to do like that. The root cause of the problem in the Southern Cameroon 
lies in the incomplete decolonization process of that particular part of the world. Yes, it's the very first time in history where a people were asked to join others in the name of getting independence by joining. Where has that ever happened in the world? Ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute violation of the rights of the people of Southern Cameroon. And that is why this problem is above the Republic of Cameroon. It is above them. Yes, it's above them. And a day shall come where they will know these things that we are saying today. My dear brother, my dear sister, the lady spoke lengthily. I don't think I should belabor the point on staying on this particular palaver. But I hope say this will it be clear for everybody when you watch me right now. Oh, now for no, say this will we day for this particular level. And because of the problem they've been only have for the past. But I don't forget say what part of them they've been events before. For, I say for the beginning they've been events. What part of them they've been events. They are only been I say they be want to use now peaceful means for achieve what you will we want to achieve. But, they, but along the line, you can show say or even that peaceful means say my man, you know ever happen. You know ever ever happen. A killing me the yen and ginger for ginger, fire for fire. Now so a killing me they understand. That's all I probably don't understand. That their language that best no be careful in a house. Best no be careful in a house. Come put their sister for down. Eh? To my for your front. Yeah, yeah, repay one come out. They pull your granite for repay skin. Remy one come out top. They threaten Remy to say they go too many too. Me she don't cry, me she don't go floor. Then you, you, they, you look at. You don't say no, you want go prayer for the man so that me change. You want go make prayer for him change. Now lie. Move your own stick. Put granite inside. Finish with you. Now so it day. Now so it day. Now that's the that the solution that. So Ambazonian fellow Ambazonian, my dear people, we don't pass that level because she don't cry say oh this and that you know. That means like we expect say this one that picking the Vangabu be the quarrel them. They want they want the way the mass grave the way like people don't put up for inside Balangi for Munyenge, Ekona, Moyoka, other side like people don't bury people there. Mami happy, baby matter. We know all these things, they quack quack. They come for one village, so they wish wash and for that. They expect say this one will come for and will cry. Eh, who cry them back for ya. And go full and then go back for yeah, because they know to the benefit of the return and so we we'll put up for their skin. We we'll put up for their skin and amber more exists. Amber more exists. So that woman don't just talk her. The, the, this palava a big pass la republic. Yes, you know, big pass la republic. And Ambazonia will be free. No matter what it come rain, come shine. We wanna know. We don't want to can us, we don't want to prove a can us, shake shake no day, boy. Shake shake no day. I throw it alone for all our brother for ground zero, where they stand genuinely for this struggle with the whole stick. My brother and sister, they for ground zero, where they stand genuinely for this struggle with the whole stick in a place day. And I want to meet all my way to ground zero, no say, so far as you come up for that land, you be amber. Amber, no, be only my way to host it. All we na amber. All we. Now, you, you go deny say, no, be amber. You think say, amber, na my way to host it. Amber, na my way come up for that land. They know very well. Say, amber, na people, they, way, they want their freedom. They want to generate their own thing by themselves because they stand for justice. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again for my next update. God bless you.